Hi, third grade. Welcome to unit eight, week one. Here is um, the packet that you received, and here are the trick words that you need to be practicing this week. Beautiful, great, to, Wednesday, example, our, treble, and were. Okay, here is the unit eight family letter. It says, dear family, thus far your child has learned many new things about words with the foundations program. I am so thankful to have a, you assisting me in this endeavor. In unit eight, I will review the consonant LE syllable. This syllable is considered a final stable syllable. It is always the last syllable in a word, and it has only three letters, a consonant, an L, and an E. The E is the vowel, and it is silent. The consonant and the L are sounded out like a blend. I will remind students that the consonant LE syllable is always the last syllable in a multisyllabic word. Take a look at the following examples and how we mark them. We have the word simple. Sim is a closed syllable because it has that short vowel, but pull is that consonant L-E. We have the silent E we cross off and we just scoop it and label it with that dash L-E. Then we have a word table. Tay is open because it has that long vowel, but B-L-E is a consonant L-E pattern and we cross off the silent E. I will then introduce the consonant L-E exception. This includes words that end with S-T-L-E. Both the T and E are silent, so S-T-L-E is read as sl. Examples of the consonant L-E exception include the words like castle and whistle. So for castle, again, cas is a closed syllable, but T-L-E looks like it would be a consonant L-E. However, since the T and the E are silent, it's the exception, and that's how it is marked. Same with whistle. Notice you keep um, the S to close in that first syllable, but the T-L-E is the consonant L-E exception, crossing off both the silent T and the silent E. I will teach students all the different ways to spell the ul sound in a fi final syllable, like in table, label, or final, and how to mark the schwa in these words. So it, we don't say label. This is a schwa sound. It's unexpected. Students will also learn how to add suffixes to consonant L-E syllables. To add a suffix to consonant L-E syllables, students must follow the silent E spelling rule. So you will drop the E to add a vowel suffix, like for example, the base word settle becomes settling. Notice how the E was dropped before attaching the vowel suffix ing. But you're going to keep the E to add a consonant suffix like settle, meant. Notice you just attach M-E-N-T, you don't drop anything. In week three, students will learn about another final stable syllable. This one is also always the last syllable in a word. It always has four letters, either the glued sound shun, T-I-O-N, or jun. Students will learn that shun says sh, says shun as in vacation and s-i-o-n says shun as in man shun and zun it's actually zun as in television the syllables are boxed as welded sounds so you box in s-i-o-n or t-i-o-n all right let's get to work with week one practice it says have your child read the words and write the syllables on the line Scoop and mark each syllable as closed, open, or consonant L-E. C is for closed, O is for open, and dash L-E for consonant L-E. In closed syllables, be sure to mark the short vowels with a brev, and in open syllables, mark the long vowels with a macron. Cross out the silent E in the consonant L-E syllables. 
All right, so let's get going here. They did the first word for you, bugle. I'm actually going to do my work. I'm not going to rewrite letters over here. I'm going to do my work here, but then you can just copy that over here on yours. Here we have the word Sam. Pull. Sam is a closed syllable because we have this short vowel. And pull is a consonant L-E, but you're going to cross off the silent E at the end, like so. Okay? Now I think I'm going to clear the screen each time because notice how it's running into each other. So once you have that copied and marked over here, I'm going to clear it. Okay? The next word down we have puzzle. Puzzle. P uh, uz has a short u that's a closed syllable and here we have that consonant le pattern but we're going to cross off the e at the end because it is silent like so okay let's move on to the last word in this column k bull okay k in this syllable that a is long so that's an open syllable and here we have consonant, so dash L-E is what we're marking down here. And again, cross off the silent E. Okay, we'll go up to this column next. We have can, dull. Can is a closed syllable with that short A. Dull is a consonant L-E with that silent E crossed off at the end. All right, got to clear my screen again and move on to the next word. We have the word A by itself, bull. A is long vowel, that's open. And bull is consonant L-E with a silent E crossed off at the end. Okay, cross clearing that. We have stay pull stay has that long a so it's open pull is consonant le with the silent e crossed off okay last word bot toll bot toll but that's a short vowel with a brev so we're gonna mark that closed and T-L-E, that's consonant L-E with a silent E crossed off. Excellent. All right, let's go down to the next section, fill in the word activity. Have your child fill in the blanks with the words from above. You will not use all of the words, okay? Because there's five, only five blanks, but we have eight words up here. Okay, so number one, the kids can handle that simple blank. Well, I'm thinking um, what could be described as simple, not a bottle, staple, able, candle, cable. Oh, but a puzzle could be simple if it's easy. So P-U-Z-Z-L-E. Okay, number two, Tom will play the blank in the band. Do you know which instrument, which word up there is an instrument? You might not be familiar with this one. Right, it's bugle. Tom will play the bugle, B-U-G-L-E. A bugle, if you're not familiar with it, is like a trumpet, similar, like a horn that you would play. Okay, number three, are you blank to go to the game? Are you, you're asking, are you able, A-B-L-E, are you able to go to the game? Number four, do not disrupt the baby with the, hmm, well, a baby would have which one of those words? Bottle, yeah, if a baby's feeding, you never want to distract them, just let them eat. B-O-T, bot, tull. 
T-L-E. Excellent. And the last one on this page. Try a blank of my chicken salad. Try a sample. S-A-M-P-L-E. Sample. Try a sample of my chicken salad. This one's very sloppy, sorry. <laughs> All right, excellent. Let's go ahead and move on to the next page. It says, guess which one? We have principal. I always say principal because I remember P-A-L, pal, is like the person. So Mr. Thomas is our principal versus principal. Okay. Let's just do it. We'll do, if it's the person, like Mr. Thomas, of a school, we'll do red. If it is like the rule principle, okay, then we're going to do purple. All right. The principal grinned when the kids did well. I can see that as Mr. Thomas smiling if you do well. Number one is principal. Principal. P-R-I-N-C-I-P-A-L. Number two, what is the strongest principle of your in your life? Well, um, I hope a lot of you have honesty and kindness as principles in your life. So that one is this principle, P-R-I-N-C-I-P-L-E. Number three, she is the principal for all the grades in this school. That would be the first one, principal. Number four, my life principle is to try to be a little happier every year. Mm, not so negative. That's a good principle to have. That would be this one, a rule um, or something that you believe in. All right, number five, I am confident that the principal has worked at her job for 10 years. That would be, there's a pattern here on this one, principal. Okay, great. Down below, it says, just create one sentence for principal and one sentence for principal. Okay, check capitalization and punctuation, please. All right, all we're doing on this one is finding and looking for words that have a consonant LE syllable. We don't have to do any marking. Up here, they want you to write the words and mark them down below. But I am not, it takes me, you know, it takes me a long time to rewrite words down here on my computer. So I'm just going to mark the ones we circle up here, okay? And then you can rewrite them and mark them down below. Sound fair? Okay, so let's take a look. We have table and they already marked it down here. So I'm not gonna remark that one up here. Okay, but let's look at this word. This word is stale. Is this a consonant L-E? No, A is not a consonant. So actually, you can either leave it blank or put an X on it because it doesn't have the consonant L-E. Okay, how about stable? Yeah, so circle stable. And we're going to mark it. You're going to write it down below on a line and mark it up. Stay. Oh, stay is a long A, that's open syllable. And then we have consonant B, L, E. So consonant L, E. Make sure you're remembering, I sometimes forget to cross off the silent E at the end when you're marking. Okay, let's do another row. We have single. Yes, see that consonant L, E? Sing. Now this is tricky because you almost want to keep ing together, which we could do. So I'm going to do that actually. Sing, ul. Um, this one is closed. I-N-G, okay, is a glued sound that's closed. And then this is going to be the consonant L-E with that silent E at the end. Okay. All right, stinger, we don't have a constant L-E at that one. Slated, no constant L-E at that one, okay? Jumble, this one's definitely circle jumble. I think we have a lot in this row to do as I'm looking. Jum, 
people. We have a short U that's closed. We have consonant LE here and cross off your silent E at the end of jumble. If you jumble something up, you mix it all up. Okay, cable, yep, I see a constant LE down there, so make sure you circle it first and let's mark it. K is that long A that's open syllable, and then this one is your constant LE. Cross off the silent E. Okay, guzzle, if you guzzle down a drink you were really thirsty, you can circle that one because I see a constant LE at the end. Guzz has that short U that's closed. And Zol is consonant LE with crossing off the silent E. Okay, I'm going to clear my screen here so I can scooch down. We have a couple more rows here. Travel does not have consonant LE, so you can X that one out. Um, Apple does, though. Here's the consonant LE, so circle. We have app and pull. App, that's a short A, that's closed in. Pull is consonant LE. And cross off that silent E. All right, I see constant LE here, freckle. And this one's kind of like that one up there um, because you typically, you want it to be freck together. You don't really split a digraph. Ol. Freck has that short E, it's closed. This is consonant LE, cross off the silent E. You kind of share that K with with the constant LE there. Okay, and tack ol, same type of thing. Tack is a closed syllable, and then consonant LE down here. Okay, notice with cradle, that's not a, oh yes it is. <laughs> Let's circle that. Cray, Dull, excellent. Cray has a long A, that's an open syllable. And there it is, consonant L-E, perfect. Okay, that should have filled up, cross off that silent E, that should have filled up all of your lines down below. Excellent practice. Okay, for the next page it says, read the sentence, select the correct word from the box to complete the sentence. You're gonna write the word on the line, Reread the completed sentence and scoop it into phrases. Okay, so here we have, um, let's say the words first, okay? And I'm going to color code them. We're going to do struggle in blue. Actually, let's do this because I'm going to have to scooch down. I'll just read them and then we'll pick the colors as we go. Fair? Okay, struggle dribble, cuddle, hobble, settlement, bundle, fumble, grumble. Hmm, lots of constant LEs. Okay, it says you must blank the ball or pass it. All right, what do you do with the ball? All right, you dribble. So I'm going to go ahead and circle dribble because that's the word that you're gonna fill in for sentence number one. You must dribble the ball or pass it. Now let's scoop it, don't forget. You must dribble the ball or pass it. Perfect, number two. Devin likes to blank with her soft kitten. Well, I believe Dev Devin likes to cuddle. So I'm gonna circle the word cuddle and you're going to fill it in for line two. Devin likes to cuddle with her soft kitten. Okay, number three. It was a blank to complete the puzzle. Hmm, if it was tough, it was a struggle. Excellent. Circling the word struggle. It was a struggle to complete the puzzle. And number four, 
I blank because I broke my ankle. Oh, if you're not able to walk well, that's, yes, hobble, you hobble. Okay, number four, I hobble because I broke my ankle. Excellent, now we just have this bottom row here to do. All right, so repeat after me so we have them fresh in our brain because when I scooch down, we won't see them. Settlement, bundle, fumble, grumble. Okay, let's clear this and we'll just have to talk about them for numbers five through eight and scoop them together. Okay, the pilgrims landed and put up yeah, this is they settle. They built a settlement. So number five is settlement. I'll spell it S E T T L E M E N T. That one has a suffix too. Okay. The pilgrims landed and put up settlement. Good. Number six. Did you blank the sticks together? If you put something together, you know that one bundle right so number six bun b-u-n dull d-l-e did you bundle the sticks together it's just one way to scoop it number seven that tackle did not make me blank the ball if you drop the ball you right fumble the ball fumble f-u-m B L E fumble. That tackle did not make me fumble the ball. And number eight, I think we know what it'll be. I will blank if we have a spelling test in class. Ugh, complain, grumble. I will grumble. G R grum U M, then B L E. I will grumble if we have a spelling test in class. Excellent. Okay, the last page wants us to practice marking. We're gonna read the words and scoop or underline the and mark syllables, including the consonant L-E syllables. Okay, I think all of these as I scooch down have consonant L-E. So, I am going to start up here. Now, it's funny because the example word is muzzle. So I don't think I'm gonna repeat it. You know how to do it, okay? The example's right there. So let's scooch over to candle. We have can dull. Can, that's a closed syllable with a short vowel there and consonant L-E for this last syllable. Okay, cross off the silent E. We have may, Pull, may, here the long A, that's open, consonant L-E in the final syllable. And we're crossing off the silent E again. Let's go down here. Driz, zol, you can drizzle dressing on your salad. Dr it is, that's short, closed. And then zol is consonant L-E, cross off the silent E. Perfect. Then we have A, Bowl, we've been practicing this one. A is long, that's an open syllable. And bull is consonant L-E, cross off the silent E. Okay, last word in this row, we have gig, gull, giggle. Cl um, closed syllable with that short I, and then consonant L-E with that silent E crossed off. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to clear those two rows and scooch on down. Let's keep marking. All right, we have this word sing -ul. Now for these ones, I still like to do this, sing -ul, cuz ing, you can even circle ing, you know, the glued sound, but that's a closed syllable. And you have consonant le with a silent e. Okay? Title, every book has a title. Okay, tie, that's a long I, that's open. Tull, that's consonant L-E, cross off the silent E. And I like this next word. Tremble, if you tremble, 
you shake. Some people tremble with fear when they're nervous about something or when they're cold, they tremble. Trem is a closed syllable with that short E and bull is constant L-E, cross off the silent E. All right, last row, we have the word dang. Now here we go again. Dang, A-N-G, fang, ang. And here's how I'm going to do it. Since it's a glued sound, I'm going to circle it or box it in, okay? It's a closed syllable, though. Even though that sounds long, it's closed. It's only making that long A sound because it's followed by an N. And then we have a constant L-E. Cross off the silent E. Okay? Ooh. We have, this is multi-syllables. Um, eggs am pull example we have a closed syllable am is another closed syllable and that technically is a glued sound too am ham am and we have constant le cross off the silent e last word squab bull squabble this one is actually a closed syllable. That actually sounds like an O, squab. Because mm, after, actually, let's see. This one should be that one-eyed monster because it follows Q, U. Remember, A, wash, A, ah, A, squash, A, ah, one-eyed monster, but it's closed because it's short sounding. And that's a constant L, E. Cross off the silent. E. Excellent. All right, third grade, thanks so much for joining me this week. See you next time.